welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. In our previous video, we added lights, rays, lens flares and rejigged the whole scene to meet client changes. Now we would like to touch up some of the model's textures as well as do a bit of branding. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the media. If you're watching the podcast version of this video, then type the link displayed in your internet browser. Looking at what we have so far, the spotlights work quite nicely in the composite. But a request has come through to add more rivets to the metal as well as some Acme branding. In the Action Schematic, pan down the Spotlight model until you see the associated texture maps. Hold OPTION and double click on the Diffuse map to select it and show it in the media list. Next, hover over the Action Schematic and press CONTROL ESCAPE to see the CONNECT EFFECTS schematic. I have done it this way because when you import 3D models with textures into Smoke, they normally do not expose their textures in Connect Effects. So if you want to paint or work with a texture, you need to extract it out of the Action node. Now ensure you go to Frame 1 as we'll do all our work on that frame and freeze it for the rest of the composite. Switch to the Connect Effects node bin. Hover over the node bin and press P for PAINT. Drag out the PAINT node and drop it after the texture clip. Double click to go into PAINT and access its controls. So having a closer look at the texture, we want to add more rivets onto the metal. Change the PAINT mode from COLOUR to RECURSIVE CLONE. Drop the brush size down to 20 and change the pressure mode to constant. Now I want to get a perfect horizontal offset for the clone brush. This is so the rivets will all line up. Enable the clone offset overlay. Drag the X value to 35 and you will see where the offset will paint itself. Now you can paint with the overlay on or off, but I prefer it off. Now starting on the left, click and drag the brush to the right. Starting with the first rivet, the paint tool will recursively clone the stroke as you paint. Paint one section of rivets at a time to ensure you don't paint over each metal tile's border. This tool is great for a variety of tasks when it comes to paintwork. And once you have completed the bottom, Remember to do the top as well. You can spend as much time as you like painting. One quick tip, if you are worried with the filtering you're seeing on the painted frame, just go to the Node PREFERENCES and enable ACTIVE FILTERING on the display. Once you're done painting, we'll add the Acme branding. Go to the MEDIA PANEL and select the Acme graphic with its alpha. Drag the selected clips into the Connect Effects schematic. Now go back to the Connect Effects node bin and drag out a Blend and Comp node into the schematic. Connect the Fill and Alpha of the Acme logo into the first inputs of the Blend and Comp node. Now connect the output of Paint into the second red input of the Blend and Comp node. Double click on the Blend and Comp node for its controls. Change the blend from ADD to SUBTRACT. Now increase the transparency to approximately 70%. So that's a good look we've created. Now let's freeze this frame for the rest of the composite. Switch to the Connect Effects node bin. Drag out a MUX node and drop it into the original connection going into action. Now take the output of Blend and Comp and feed that into the MUX node input. Double click and look at the MUX node controls. Click FREEZE CURRENT FRAME and the image at frame 1 will be repeated for the whole composite. Let's see what's happening in action. Select the action node to update the result view. Scrub the time bar all the way to the last frame. So we can see the rivets as well as the Acme logo. 
However, the Acme logo is only on one side of the spotlights, because that is obviously the edge where we didn't paint. So let's shift the texture on the models. Press Escape over the Connect Effect schematic to see the Action Schematic view. Pan over to the Spotlight Texture. Select the axis above the Diffuse Map. Change the X position to minus 265 and this will shift the texture around the model. Obviously this model is symmetrical, so it works easily. But with asymmetrical models, you'd probably have to do a lot more painting, but that's to be expected. In the next video, we'll start wrapping up the action portion of the composite. We'll add a bit of light blooming, filtering and motion blur. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning Channel for future videos.